lie to people that you just bought a house because it's so easy for people to check even without wanting to check as soon as you punch you punch in an address okay whenever you put in the address on google google tells you google tells you if you you just bought a home or you didn't it is so easy to check so when you are renting a home for example you are renting it but you're out there telling people that you bought the house and people can see easily for free you don't even have to pay any money to check people can check people can see i used to work for a company and that was my job at one point my job was to check if people own their house on on their home or not so that was my job that was my job a few years ago i used to do that for a living i used to check if this house belongs to somebody because we used to sell some stuff and we had to sell it to people who own to house owners to people who owned homes so i am telling you free advice from me stop lying to people that you own homes when you don't because it's so easy to check and it's very embarrassing when people check and online it tells them that this is a rental it even tells them hello everyone Ladin Bumo here welcome back to my channel if this isn't your first time and for all my first time viewers welcome and i am happy to be here so i wanted to make a um a video because i received a few messages especially from the people who subscribe to my channel because of my advices because of my talk and um, my you know point of view on certain things so uh, some of them told me that the only reason why I subscribed subscribe to your channel is because of your advices and you don't really do them anymore some asked me are you running out of ideas no I am definitely not running out of ideas I have so many like guys i have so many things i want to talk about i have so many things i can talk about it's just that like, like i've told you before um i just don't find the time to come in front of the camera really that's that's all that's all uh it is it's just the time timing okay but today i wanted to you know talk about few what i call um save yourselves the, the embarrassment okay this is a video about some of the behaviors that uh we can avoid you know people can avoid people who do those behaviors you can avoid them to uh, to basically save yourselves the embarrassment okay so i don't want to be too long so let's go straight to the point okay so the number one the number one um behavior that makes me laugh a lot really i have to be honest it makes me laugh a lot is when people on social media think that they need permission before they do something and i'm about to explain myself so this is for the people that always write that well um i'm about you know they they, they, they will basically make a post and write that I'm about to delete some people from my list, from my friend, my my friends list. I'm about to delete some people. If you happen to see this post, if you don't write something, I'm going to delete you. So, who are you asking permission from? From you know what I mean? If you want to delete somebody, go ahead and delete them. You don't need to make a post first and uh and basically it's like you are asking for permission that oh i'm about to delete if you don't comment people that always write that if you don't make a comment on my post if you don't set turn off the water please if you don't make uh if you don't write if you don't comment on my post i'm going to delete you if you don't write something, I'm going to delete you. That means we are not friends. Let me tell you something. Maybe you guys don't realize, but 
99.99% of people on social media are fake. Sorry to break it down to you, but it's the truth. Most people are fake. Most friendships on social media are fake. I'm not saying all, but I'm saying most. So if someone cares about you, care, cares enough to write you a comment, it has to come from their heart. It has to come from them. You don't have to force people to write, write a comment or to comment on your posts. You don't have to make people do it. People do it because they want to do it. It's something they want to do. It's coming from them. It's not you asking them to write a comment on your post. And when people don't write a comment, you feel the necessity to delete them. You're like, well, I'm going to delete you from my list. I'm going to, you are not, you don't comment on my post. So what's the point of us being friends? I'm going to delete you. Then go ahead and do it. Why do you have to make a post first so you can wake those people up so they can put a comment so you can keep them? That makes no sense. And that's laughable. I'm sorry, but it, it shows desperation in a way. If you want to go ahead and delete people, just go ahead and delete them. You don't have to make a post. It's like you are asking for permission. It's your social media, it's your page, it's your your YouTube, whatever it is that you do, it's your Facebook, it's your TikTok. If you want, if you want to delete people, go ahead and delete them. You don't need permission first. If your post is interesting enough, or whatever it is that you posted is interesting enough, people are going to comment without you asking them first. So to me, that is very embarrassing. I am sorry, but someone has to break it down to you. Someone has to tell you, and I am telling you right now, it is very embarrassing. It really is. And the other one is the people, also it goes into the same category. People who want, basically they're giving you a warning first. I'm going to block you. If you don't do this, if you don't do that, I'm going to block you. Again, if you want to block someone, if you want to block people, you don't have to ask for permission. It only takes a second to go ahead and press that button. Click and block them. So why do you feel that you have to warn someone first? I'm giving you a warning. I'm going to block you if you don't do this, if you don't do that. Honey, it's like you are going to a battlefield and you are about to attack your enemy and you're giving them a warning that, hey, I'm going to come and attack you in su on such day. You better be prepared. It's like you're about to block someone and you're giving them a warning. It's the same thing. Mm -mm. If I'm about to go and attack somebody, I'm not going to give them a warning first. No, I'm going to come incognito and I'm going to attack. That's the best way to attack. That's the best way to win. So giving a warning, I'm sorry, but it just shows desperation it shows that in a way you don't want to block somebody but you're just saying it so that you are needing that attention but it's like you being desperate and the next one is the most it's the funniest one of all i am sorry but to me it is extremely funny i have to stand up for this one because this one honey it is it extremely Fun, I'm telling you. So, this one, honey, this one is for the people. Let me adjust my camera because you can't really see me. Hold on. So, this one is for the people who are super addicted to social media, but they just don't want to admit it. Somehow, or for some reasons, or maybe they don't know, but they are super addicted to social media and they want to take a break. So let me, let me give you this advice, okay? Instead of embarrassing yourselves, whenever you want to take a break from social media, don't tell people, just go, just leave. Because this is what happens. And I have seen this a lot from people saying that where they are going to write this very long post that post 
I'm going to be leaving social media. I'm not going, I'm no longer going to be on social media. I'm going to be gone for at least, and they put a time frame too. I'm going to be gone for at least seven months i'm gonna be gone for at least a year so for anyone who wants to reach out to me anyone who wants to reach me you know what you know how to reach me you know what to do i'm gonna be gone for at least a year when you write that i don't want to see your face for at least a year or even at least three months let me not see you for at least three months when you out you write something like that i'm gonna be gone for at least a year and then after a week i see your face again back on social media now you are just embarrassing yourself and now you owe some you feel like you owe some type of explanation however if you would have left without telling anybody if, if you felt like you just want to leave social media for a while and you just left without telling telling anyone without writing this very long post on social media then you don't owe anyone an explanation an explanation you know what i mean you're just left without any explanation so that way you can come back without any explanation because now you look like a fool you have made a fool of yourself because you were you were supposed to be gone for at least a year and here you are back after one week all of that is why because you are craving attention you are seeking attention that you are not getting you are craving attention that you are not getting and you you think that oh because I'm going to go let me write this very long post so that when people see me people gonna ask me questions well why do you want to leave why are you leaving why are you doing this now I feel more important when you write that for the people who want to reach out to me you know what to do honey when you leave without any explanation people who care about you they have a way to reach out to you or they are going to find a way to reach out to you speaking from experience when i decide that i'm going to take a little break i don't tell anybody i just go and somehow the people that care about me, they are going to find ways to reach out to me without even me telling them. This is all I'm saying. So that's all I'm saying. They are going to find ways to reach out to you without you telling them that this is how to reach out to me. Because if someone cares about you for real, they are going to find a way. They are going to try and find you. Uh, I can see it if you are maybe very, if you are very famous, okay? If you are very famous on social media, I can see maybe writing something, maybe for your followers, people that, you know, if you are so active and you are very famous, you know, when I mean famous, I mean famous, okay? When you post something, you have like 100 comments, 200 comments, 300, thousands of comments. These are famous people that maybe they, you know, oh, an explanation when they are about to go because they have followers they have an audience and the audience maybe want to know you know well what, what happened to you or are you gonna be gone let us know but when you are just a regular you know I'm, I'm, and I'm not saying this to put anyone down and because myself included this is why whenever I go I just go because I don't want to owe anyone an, an explanation. When I leave, I just leave. And if I feel like coming back, I come back. It, it, it's the way it is. However, when you wrote that, when you gave yourself a time frame that I'm going to be gone for such and such time, and it's only been one week, you cannot do without social media. Now, you want to come back, but you are feeling so embarrassed and you just let it go. You don't write anything. People are like, well, you were supposed to be gone for a year. What are you doing here? Why Why do we see you after after a week? You know, it's embarrassing. It's very embarrassing to me. I laugh when I see that. I'm like, oh, here he is. Here she is back. She couldn't even do it for a week. You know, save yourselves the embarrassment. Whenever you want to go, you want to take a little break, just take a little break. Try that. You are going to get more attention when you come back. I guarantee you that. If you don't tell nobody, you just leave. When you come back, you are going to get more attention. 
naturally because people are curious they want to know what happened to her what's going on is everything okay or maybe she's going through some trouble they don't know what's going on in your life you just leave you just let them hang you just leave them hanging like that you know what i mean i saved the best for last i saved the best for last and the please I am not talking to someone or some people in particular. This is general. This is generally speaking. But I think it's very important that I let you know this. I think it's very important. Maybe you don't know, but this is for the people, okay? And again, please, if this is you, don't feel offended but i'm just opening your eyes okay maybe maybe no one has the courage to tell you but ladin boom is gonna tell you today please don't lie when you haven't purchased a home yet when you haven't bought a home yet when you haven't you 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 didn't buy a house yet don't lie to people that you just bought a house because it's so easy for people to check. Even without wanting to check, as soon as you punch, you punch in an address, okay? Whenever you put in the address on Google, Google tells you. Google tells you if you, you just bought a home or you didn't. It is so easy to check. So when you are renting a home, for example, you are renting it, but you're out there telling people that you bought the house and people can see easily for free. You don't even have to pay any money to check. People can check. People can see. I used to work for a company and that was my job at one point. My job was to check if people own their house, own, own their home or not. So that was my job. That was my job a few years ago. I used to do that for a living. I used to check if this house belongs to somebody because we used to sell some stuff and we had to sell it to people who own to house owners to people who owned homes so i am telling you free advice from me stop lying to people that you own homes when you don't because it's so easy to check and it's very embarrassing when people check and online it tells them that this is a rental it even tells them how much you are renting for it even tells them when the the house went went on um went out for rent it tells everything all the details this house went for rent in such day on such day blah 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 blah, blah. it tells people that you are renting and you are not a, an owner it is not impossible to own a home absolutely not it is not impossible all you all you have to, all you have to do is work on it it's not impossible it's just two years just two years just two two years that's needed for income for credit you know you gotta have credit you gotta have income um and all of that so it's not impossible it's just having the motivation to work on it so that you can own i know times are super hard interest rates are super high especially here in vegas it is not easy nowadays to own a decent home but be patient work your way up so you can own but save yourselves the embarrassment don't lie to people saying that you own when you do not own because people can check it shows it's easy to check and when people ask people see that you rent now you just made a fool of yourself of yourself you know you are uh, it's embarrassing really so i'm giving you this as a an advice as a friend as a little sister as a big sister as an auntie as a friend as a, you know whoever i am to you i'm just giving you this advice just be proud you rent you know if you are renting be proud of it. you are renting it's fine uh, if it is your dream to own one day work on it and you are going to own it is absolutely not impossible
It is not impossible to own a home. Don't let anyone lie to you. But don't lie and say that you own when you don't. Because it's very, I'm telling you, it's very, very embarrassing. Because people know. People can check so easy. Sometimes all you have to do is just write the address so that you can GPS it. So you can, and then it shows you. You know what I mean? So it's just an, an advice. Don't take it the wrong way. I'm, I'm, I mean it in the most positive way possible. Oh, 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 I was going to forget, okay? Quickly, quickly, and this is a lot, this is a lot for us people, for example, on, um, on, on YouTube or on, on, uh, on social media, uh, content, content creators, okay? Sometimes we have people that, people who don't like us, people, someone who just doesn't like you for whatever, you know, maybe they don't like the way you talk or whatever, the subject you talk about, and they take their time to write that, oh, I'm going to unfollow you. I'm going to block you. I'm going to unfollow why are you taking that extra minute of your precious time to even write that i'm going to unfollow you i'm going to block you just go ahead and do it why are you telling me why are you telling me if you want to block me if you want to unfollow me just do it it only takes a second why you are taking that extra minute to write to me most likely i may not even read it i may not even read it that's because in reality, you don't want to block me. Mm -hmm. In reality, you don't want to unfollow me. You love watching me. You just can't stand it. And you want to write so that can hurt my feelings. That, oh, oh, she's going to unfollow me. He's going to unfollow me. I'm so hurt when I don't give a crap. I don't give a crap and you know it, but you want, you are seeking that little bit. You just want that little bit of attention so you can hurt someone's feeling. No. If you want to unfollow someone, just unfollow. When I unfollow people on their page for whatever they do that I don't like, I don't write to them. I'm not going to take the extra minute of my life and write that I'm going to unfollow you. I'm going to block you. No, I just go ahead and click and follow. Click, block, click, 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 block, 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 and follow, block, 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 block. I ain't got no time to be writing that. I'm going to unfollow you. Huh? Yeah, quickly, I wanted to remind you of that too. And before I go, and before I go, you know most, uh, well, not most, but some of the outfits that I wear, we make them, okay? It comes from Atanazaiki Couture, and such as uh, this assemble that I'm wearing. This is coming from Atanazaiki Couture, okay? So, this is basically an outfit that we can do for you okay we can make this for you so anytime you need something done something different you want something that's going to take your shape so anytime you need if you want something like this done come to us come to our tanazaiki couture so that we can make you something that's going to complement your shape something that's going to take your shape an outfit that everyone's gonna talk about when you walk everyone's gonna be like "Ooh!" you don't even have to talk about it like me whenever i want to advertise about our our outfits i don't even have to say much all I have to do is show up at a meeting, show up at a party, show up to work. And when people see, they'll ask me, oh my gosh, where did you get your outfit from? And then I'm proud to say that we can make it for you. Just come to Atanazayaki Katwa. Ta-ta. I'll see you next time.